Hello and welcome to a little Spark AR video. In this video, I'm going to try and create a neon face effect where we have one side of the face lit up by um, one neon color and the other side of the face lit up by another neon color. So I'm just going to start off by clicking new project. I'm just going to create a new face tracking project. And make this full screen. I'm going to go to add object, add face mesh. With face mesh selected, I'm going to go to materials and click on the little plus button like so. So this will create us a new material. I'm going to have this material selected. I'm going to keep the shader type as standard. And I'm just going to turn on my specular. So at the moment, anything that's grey, greyed off, uh, isn't enabled. So I'm just going to click a little box next to specular. And you should now see that we have this kind of glow on the uh, face mesh. I'm now going to also go down to the blend options and I'm just going to change this to be add like so. So at the moment, because we've got our diffuse color set as white, it's going to keep the white on our scene. So we're going to end up with sort of weird, um, overly saturated uh, kind of white on our scene. So I'm going to change the diffuse to be black. So if you remember with um, alphas, whatever is white is kept, whatever is black is removed. Like so. So now we should have this kind of white glow that is on the side of the face. What I'm going to do also now is I'm going to now want to be able to uh, mask off the face mesh so only half the face is picked up with this color on and the other side it doesn't show anything. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go into Photoshop and I've just opened up the face mesh mask.png that is provided within the face assets pack with uh, by Facebook. I'm going to now just quickly get an erase tool. I'm just going to erase half the face. Uh, I'm actually going to make sure my sort of float is a little bit lower. A little bit on the harsh side. Let's reduce the harshness a bit actually. So I'm just going to undo that quickly. Do, 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 do. Make sure my harshness is low, which it is. Let's go roughly half like that. I'm going to go file, save as. I'm just going to save this to my desktop somewhere and I'm going to call this half face mesh mask. I'm just going to save this into my pictures folder and save like so. And press OK. And I'm going to go back to Spark with my material selected. I'm going to go to my alpha, enable this, select my texture, choose file, I'm going to navigate to my pictures and choose my half face mesh mask. So now you should see that half the face is sort of got this white glow on it, the other side doesn't. I'm going to just duplicate my face mesh. And this new duplicate, I'm going to just quickly create another material. So the material is going to be the same, so shader type standard, specular on, blend mode add, color for the diffuse to be black so it's not picked up. And in this case, I'm going to change the specular to be a different color. So I'm going to change the type to be color. So this is going to be a purple. My other material, I'm going to change also to be color. And I want this one to be, let's say, a kind of bluey color, like so. So with my second material selected, I'm just going to go back into Photoshop quickly. I'm going to now flip my image. So transform. Flip on the vertical, sorry, flip on the horizontal, I should have done. Transform. There we go. And just move this to the other half. File, save as. You can save this in the same place. Again, I could do this a better job, but this is why I spent long on it. Save again. So again, back into Spark. Select my material. Go to the alpha, turn it on, choose my file, and I'm going to choose my other half mesh. So now what you should have is we should have one side of the face with this alpha mask uh, texture uh, kind of occluding. So we've got this blue glow here, we have this purple glow here. If I quickly add a canvas a rectangle, and I'm just going to change this to be full width for height. And again, I'm just going to create one more material. This new material I'm just going to have as a solid black. 
I'm going to reduce its opacity a little bit like so and I want this to ignore def test and ignore white to buffer and I'm going to do the same with my two face meshes materials like so and what I'm basically doing is this new material I've just created is going to act as like my kind of um, filter so it's acting like a darkening agent essentially so what we should have now is we should have these two lights and if I just quickly swap to my webcam like so, so you can see it working in action we should have a blue glow on this side a purple glow on this side and depending on, on the orientation of the head the lights should shift to create this kind of shine as if I've got two glow lights uh, pointing at my mask and at any point if I'm not happy with the kind of level of light I can adjust the smoothness so I could start to pull away more by reducing the, the smoothness um, by increasing the smoothness it takes away more of that colour by decreasing it puts more of it back in and the same with the other side like so we can also try playing about with other things so you can try using texture so if you didn't want it to be a glow just a light you could also apply a PNG image um, like a, a pattern for example again using this technique of white being on black being off to have the kind of pattern um, showing through this kind of uh, coloured glow um, on us anyway so this has just been like I said this is a very quick little easy effect to play about with um, you can combine this with other effects to start to build up something quite cool and nifty remember to like comment and subscribe and share your results down below Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.